Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Matrix Transformation Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to find the image of a line rotated in degrees about the origin. Forgot to add that little bit in for about the origin. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's give you guys a problem straight away. So the question is, find the image of y equals 2x rotated 25 degrees about the origin. Now we have a line and we want to rotate it 25 degrees. So the first thing we want to do is figure out the transformation matrix. Now if you have done lesson 7, you would, learn, you would have learned that the transform matrix, transformation matrix for rotating a point is written as r theta equals cos theta sine theta negative sine theta and cos theta again now if you have no idea where this rotation matrix comes from then you should have a look at our last lesson which was lesson 6 so that you're not too confused about what I'm about to do next. Okay, so as with all linear um, transformations, if we multiply this matrix R theta by um, X and Y, which are our original points, we will get the image coordinate X dash Y dash. Okay, so uh, let's replace r theta with our um, matrix cos theta sine theta negative sine theta cos theta times x and y equals x dash y dash okay now let's have a look at our equation we have an equation y equals 2x that relates the x variable with the y variable okay this is the equation of our original line now what we're trying to get to so this is our original line what we want to try and get to is we want to know what y dash is in terms of x dash All right, we want to know how these two variables are related which means um, what we are trying to do, what we're going to try and do next is we're trying to find out what x and y equals in terms of x dash and y dash so that we can get an expression for x in, in terms of x dash and y dash we can get an expression for y in terms of x dash and y dash and we can substitute it into this equation and that will give us in the end an equation that relates x dash and y dash together so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the inverse of the rotational matrix on both sides so if we do that then we get cos theta we get the inverse of the rotational matrix on the right hand side multiply by x dash y dash okay now what is theta well the question says theta is 25 degrees so let's substitute that into our equation cos 25 sine 25 negative sine 25 cos 25 inverse times x dash y dash now if you guys remember how to get an, uh, how to get the inverse of a matrix uh, well you can just type it into a graphics calculator but what you do is you get 1 over a times d so cos 25 times cos 25 minus um, B times C so sine 25 times negative sine 25 
and uh, that'll give us 1 over cos 25 squared my plus sine 25 squared okay um, so I'm gonna rub all this out just continue from this and then within the matrix I will have um, A and D switched around so that's just the same thing again and then we're gonna reverse the signs of um, B and C so it's negative sign 25 here and sign 25 over here and then times X dash Y dash okay so it's probably easier if you just type all this into the calculator and then come back so if you type the constant in on the outside of the matrix you'll get 1 so it's 1 times cos 25 sine 25 negative sine 25 cos 25 times x dash y dash and then if you do the basic multiplication for matrices the row in the first matrix times by the column in the second matrix you will get um, cos 25 times x dash plus sine 25 y dash and you in the second element you will get negative sine 25 x dash plus cos uh, forgot the two here cos 25 y dash okay and let's type the cos 25 and sine 25 into the calculator and you will get so cos 25 is equal to 0 0.906 sine 25 is e equal to 0 0.423 so after we have done all of this we can now say that if you guys remember originally we had on the left hand side X and Y inside the matrix so X and Y matrix is equal to this matrix so therefore X is equal to 0.906 X dash plus 0.423 Y dash and Y is equal to negative 0.423 X dash plus 0.906 y dash right according to these according to this matrix equation right the first element must equal the first element the second element must equal the second element and so on now substituting our new expressions for x and y into our original equation where we had um, y is equal to 2x so we're gonna substitute it in so substitute into y equals 2x we will get negative 0.423 x dash plus 0.906 y dash so we're substituting all this stuff into where y is and then we're going to substitute all this into where x is so equals 2 times 0 0.906 x dash plus 0 0.423 y dash okay and now let us try and simplify this so I have um, on the right hand side 2 times that so I will get 1.812 x dash plus uh, 0 0.846 y dash and on the left hand side I'm just gonna copy it down again and then I'm gonna move all the y's onto the left so I have 0 0.906 y dash uh, minus 0 0.846 y dash equals 1.812 x dash plus 0 0.423 x dash 
move all the Y's onto one side, all the X's onto the other side. And now let's simplify what's on the left. So I will get 0.06Y dash equals 2.235 X dash. And now let's divide both sides by 0 0.06. So I will get um, 37.25 X dash. Okay, so this sounds a little bit far fetched, but um, what did I do wrong? Anyway, I'm going to try to type it in GeoGebra and see what happens. So my original equation is y equals 2x. And my new equation is y equals 37.25x. Now I'm going to try and get the angle in between them. And if it is somewhere around... Um, if it's somewhere around 25 degrees, then I have got it correctly. I have done it correctly. So let's draw a point at the origin. Let's get the angle. Actually, let's just draw another two points on these two lines. So I can get the angle a little bit easier. So angle between point B point A and point C and yes the angle is 25 degrees right uh, with a few more numbers in the second decimal place but that's because I rounded my answers earlier on okay so if you could manage to do all of this without rounding then you should end up with somewhere around um, this answer. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next.